Raphael! Oh, sorry I'm late. What happened? Are you all right? Raphael? Who are you? <laughs> what? You are... Hmm, you do seem a bit familiar. Have we met before? It's been a while. I can't remember. Raphael, what are you talking about? You don't remember me. Hmm? Did you want me to remember you? Let's talk then. I mean, after all, why else would you be here so late at night? Uh, didn't you call me to come visit you because you're injured? Oh, really? When did I call you? Uh, this morning. This morning, huh? So you do remember. Do you know what time it is? It's been 800 years. Jellyfishes are walking naked. Sea turtles climb trees. Sharks are eating grass for free. And finally, finally you remembered me. Any later and I would have been discharged from the hospital already. You... I... An emergency mission came up. Another mission. Ah, I see. So I should assign you a mission next time I want to see you. Didn't show up. Didn't answer your phone. I thought you were in trouble. Sit down already. Stop looking like I'm picking on you or something. You haven't answered my first question. Why are you in the hospital? Uh... Because I'm injured, of course. I'm gravely ill. He looks super energetic, though. Right. I brought you some fruit? Oh, that's so sweet of you. I mean... Is that all you have? An apple? It's already late, and there was only one fruit stall still open. This is the last apple. Fine. I've been craving an apple all day. You know me so well. Knife's over there. Feed me? Is it good? If it's from you, yeah. Where exactly are you hurt again? My leg. It's in a cast. Is it that bad? What did you do? Well... Some kid was crossing the road without looking, so I pushed him out of the way. In the end, I fell and broke a bone. So, will you have to stay here for a while then? Don't tell anyone else. Those tabloids are going to praise me nonstop again if they find out. I prefer to keep a low profile. Really, is that so? On my honor. Broken bones take time to heal, and even eating an apple takes effort. Maybe you can smuggle me out of here. The nurses are so mean. I can't even leave this room. Um, how am I supposed to smuggle someone out of a hospital? Visiting time is up. Please leave. Oh, okay. Why didn't you knock? This is my private room. Ignore her, I'm the patient, so what I say goes. Patient, huh? Mr. Raphael, you told me that you came out of the bathtub, stepped on a paintbrush, and twisted your ankle. What made you check yourself into the hospital? Rich people have weird hobbies. <sighs> <sighs> that's... that's nonsense. You don't believe her, do you? I don't want to hear a word about this. I don't even want to hear you speak. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't say it. Hold it in and swallow. Uh, so that's how you got hurt. <laughs> Quiet down, will you? You do know it's scary hearing that sort of laughter at this hour in a hospital, right? 
Hey, stop it. Did you lose your mind or something? Time's up. Ah, uh, it's so noisy. <laughs> Take your cast off and get some rest. I'm going to head home worry-free. Visits are half an hour, and you leave after only a few minutes? You're doing just fine. I have work in the morning. Wait for me. Huh? Let's go. What are we waiting for? Can't I be around you a while longer? All right. <laughs> Walking with you in a moonlit garden is a wonderful experience. Fun, even. We've only taken a few steps outside. Doesn't matter. My ankle's twisted, so I'm moving slowly. No rush. <laughs> I see you're still in a good mood. Hush! Place. Don't talk. I think I hear... something screaming. You're teasing me again, aren't you? Why would I? You're not fun to tease. You. Shh. I really did hear something. Is there a wanderer in the hospital? Yeah, a wanderer. It could be that. Looks like it came from over there. Come on. Why don't we check it out? The way I see it, you just don't want to go back to your room. Yep. The sound came from over here. This pool changes out its water every night, so it's pretty clean. The fish are... super fat. Maybe the cafeteria keeps them for food. Look! A fish is stuck over there. Oh, the noise was just a clogged pipe. Tail's caught. Got it. <laughs> Your willingness to rescue strays, it's very worrisome. What's so worrying about it? One can never know what an innocent act of kindness means to someone. <sighs> what do you mean? Since you have a naive perspective on life, Allow me to tell you a story. Listen closely, then decide whether or not to spread kindness wherever you go. A long, long time ago, I... I mean, a friend of mine. You have friends? Why wouldn't I? Don't interrupt me again. This friend of mine lives in the deep sea. And down there... There isn't very much, you know? Even the fish are ugly. After a while, he wanted to go to the surface and look around. One day, he did just that. But then, he found the surface to be as equally boring as the sea. So he went back home. I'm feeling a little bored myself. A little patience, please? I'm not even at the good part yet. So, anyway, on the way back... He got stranded on a beach. Stranded? Hmm. <sighs> Just like the fish from earlier. No way out, no hope, and waiting to die. Uh, and then? He met someone who did things without asking, like you, and she rescued him. Of course, the only reason she rescued him was because of his dashingly good looks. <laughs> he was still very handsome even when he was half dead. Unwittingly, the girl was drawn to him. Actually, we can say his otherworldly charm did him a few favors. But your friend was rescued. Isn't that a good thing? <gasps> rescued? <sighs> it was the beginning of a tragedy. After that, the girl forgot all about him in the blink of an eye. What a fish brain. But, for him, from that moment forward, the deep sea became a prison. Because he fell in love with the girl who saved him? Love? 
Yeah. Love. Now do you understand how dangerous the world is? This friend is you, isn't well, it? Well, what if it is me? I waited for her for a long, long time, and she never appeared again. And like I said, I hate waiting. You made me wait an entire day. Oh, I'm sorry. An apology. Promise me that you won't make me wait for you again. But for me, work always comes first. I'm not asking you to show up on the dot. Just wherever you are, whatever you get into, you tell me as soon as you can. Don't just disappear ever again, okay? All right, I understand. Swear. I swear it. No, your human vows are never reliable. We do it my way. Close your eyes. Repeat after me. I will never make Raphael wait for me. I... I wish that Raphael will reunite with the girl he's waiting for. What did you... That's against the rules. Where did the fish come from? This is a ceremonial vow of my people. Fish are the emissaries of the ocean. If the vow has the blessing of the ocean, then a fish will appear between our palms. Don't forget what you said today. Aha! Found you. <laughs> How romantic. Sneaking out with a twisted ankle for a date. Mr. Raphael, you're such a Romeo. Come on. I'm just trying to escort her home. Yes, I'm sure you are. It's getting late. You should probably head back. I get out in two days. Pick me up. And remember, don't be late again. <laughs> Got it. Also, stop disappearing on me. Because I don't want to feel anxious and frustrated again.